Hey everybody, it's Brandon here again, and um, so I'm running Chrome OS Flex here on the 2011 MacBook Air. I kind of mentioned it in a video yesterday, and uh, I just installed Steam just for the fun of it. Uh, I'm not going to install any games though, because it's, I mean, even the interface of Steam is barely runnable. And uh, if you watch the channel, you know that I just had, on this machine, um, Zorin OS installed just not too long ago. And so I kind of wanted to talk about the uh, comparison uh, on this particular machine on Zorin between Linux and Chrome OS Flex. Uh, because I feel like if you're like me and you have an old, slow, barely functional laptop with Windows or Mac and you're kind of wanting to revitalize it, uh, you might be thinking to yourself, do I want Linux or do I want this new Chrome OS Flex? So we're going to kind of talk about that and hopefully this will help some people grappling with that decision. But the first thing, because it's still the number one question on my comments, even though I made videos about it, which is okay, people obviously haven't seen all my videos, but everyone asks, Play Store, how do you get Play Store on Chrome OS? The answer is you don't, not on Chrome OS Flex. There's not going to be any Android apps, and for the most part on Linux, you're not really going to have Android apps either. So if Android is what you're looking for, there's uh, another operating system I've talked about on my channel called Fight OS. It's based on Chrome OS. You can look at those videos. That'll get you Android. Chrome OS Flex, it's really not going to happen. Now, I'm sure there's like one guy out there that made it work with a bunch of tinkering, but for the most part, it's... It's not something that most people are going to go through. The same way with Linux, also. And there seems to be a... Uh, a lot of people seem to think that since Android is Linux-based, you can kind of just take an APK file and run it on Linux, too. And it doesn't work like that. So anyway, let's get that out of the way. Now, for actual running of the system, um, performance-wise, they're actually pretty similar. I think... When you're just using uh, the web browser, Chrome OS, it feels maybe a little faster. Um, I did benchmarks on it, and the numbers aren't any faster on Chrome OS. Actually, I think Linux edged it out by a couple points, but nothing noticeable. Um, but just the interface on Chrome OS Flex does feel a little bit faster. Uh, where the huge difference comes is when you try to install Linux applications. Now, if you don't care about Linux, then this isn't even an issue. But uh, if you do care about Linux applications, and you're on a low-power device like this, just install Linux, hands down. It's not even a competition. Um, I, again, this isn't something I benchmarked, but just the way it feels, Linux, oh, up to 50% slower going through Chrome OS Flex. And I've seen people on the uh, comments on this channel saying that the Linux apps actually run decently on their machine. And it, that might be true on like a higher powered laptop. I've only been testing Chrome OS Flex out on like this is the MacBook Air, which is plugged into my uh, video capture device right now. Or this Asus back here, which just has an old a, a slow Celeron processor. You can definitely notice a difference where Linux is slower on those through Chrome OS Flex. And I think it's just because of the containerized nature of how Linux works on it. I think it t has more overhead, requires more memory, and it's just slower. It is. There's, like, I can't dress it up any. Um, there are a lot of Linux apps that worked fine on this MacBook, on Zorin, which will barely even open on Chrome OS Flex. And so, and like the games here, like, I'm not even going to try it. It's, I know it's not going to be a good experience. So if, yeah, if Linux is what you're into and you have a low power device like this, just install Linux. There's, like Zorin, we've talked about it on the channel, is a really easy distribution. Setting it up is not much harder than setting up Chrome OS. And uh, you'll, you'll have a better time. And um, just actually browsing and everything on Linux is, it's not noticeably slower than on Chrome OS Flex. The only advantage, really, on the Chrome OS Flex, um, if you're an absolute beginner, the install is super easy. Uh, the hardest step is typing in your Google account, which is not hard. So it's really good for beginners. And um, 
It also, it kind of looks prettier. It looks like it has a little more polish, but that's subjective. And um, there's so many different Linux flavors out there that you can make it look like whatever you want. So, so I don't know. Now, it's weird to say this on a channel that is so pro Chrome OS Flex, because I really do like it. But um, it's still not the best for Linux. If you're just using web apps and stuff, it's serviceable. It's good. If you're not a power user, it's pretty much perfect. I mean, it is missing things that, uh, that I like. Like, the file manager app is nothing compared to what you'd find on Linux. It, there's not that many options. But it has enough for the basic users, so that's good. Uh, as I said, the browser, if you like Google Chrome, it runs good on Chrome OS Flex. Uh, actual like JavaScript performance is not going to be better on a Flex device compared to uh, Linux or even Windows. It's probably just going to be the same. That's really based on your CPU. But the responsiveness of the system on Flex is generally good. Um, so... So the bottom line here, I'm, this is kind of a rambling video, but just after using Zorin on this machine and using Chrome OS Flex, Zorin, it's better. I hate to say it, especially since I do so much Chrome OS content on here. But at the same time, um, I don't know. Like I like Chrome OS better. I don't know why. Is, is it just because the interface of it? Is it just the thought of it? I don't know. Um... Now, it would be interesting to try all this stuff on a higher-powered machine. I don't have, like, a really fast laptop to test this on. And I might get one at some point just for the sake of the channel. And you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. Um, because I have read where people said on a decently specced laptop, the Linux apps run pretty good. Um, but I still suspect they're going to run better on actual Linux. But a lot of people don't care about Linux. And so that's that's the strength of Chrome OS Flex. If um, you're pretty much just going to be doing web apps, which is what I got this little Asus for, then you're going to be fine. Um, I think there's no problem with Chrome OS Flex. It works great for that. It's fast. It's uh, easy to set up. Anybody can set it up. You don't have to know anything about computers. You can get Chrome OS Flex working on it. It's just once you start diving into Linux is where the... Uh, where it changes considerably. Um, now, it's cool that Linux is available on Flex. Like, if you just bought a Chromebook and that's all you got, then, um, you know, that's how you're going to get any Linux apps at all. But when we're talking about Chrome OS Flex and it's something you have to install manually on your laptop, it's hard to see the advantage of it over Linux, if you want Linux apps. Um, there's basically no advantage, in my opinion. But you guys can let me know what you think. I know this is kind of a rambling video. I just, um, I was using the MacBook last night, uh, trying to get some Linux things working on it, messing with it. And it's just the one thought in the back of my mind the whole time was, yeah, this, it's not as good as Zorn was. It just isn't. And I wish it was, and maybe it will be someday. And of course, we're going to keep looking at Chrome OS Flex on this channel, and I'll let you know if and when it does get better, but... These are just my thoughts on how it is now. You guys can let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, if you watch my rambling this long, I thank you. And I hope you have a good day. Bye now.